Welcome to the fascinating world of human biorhythms, a concept that proposes our daily lives may be significantly influenced by inherent biological cycles. This theory, originating in the Swiss Alps, suggests that our bodies operate on three distinct and continuous cycles. First off, we have the physical cycle, a 23-day period which governs our stamina, strength, and overall health. Next, the emotional cycle, lasting 28 days, is believed to regulate our moods, sensitivity, and creativity. Finally, the intellectual cycle, spanning 33 days, is thought to control our alertness, analytical functioning, and memory. These cycles, ebbing and flowing, are believed to shape our days, subtly steering our productivity, our emotions, and our mental acuity. Intriguing, isn't it? Let's delve deeper into these mysterious cycles. Starting with the physical cycle, which spans 23 days, Let's delve into the physical cycle, a fascinating rhythm that subtly regulates our body. This cycle, with a duration of 23 days, governs our physical energy levels, strength, coordination, and overall health. It's like an unseen conductor orchestrating the symphony of our bodily functions. Imagine a wave. At the start of the cycle, the wave is at the bottom, gradually rising to reach its peak on the 11th day. This phase, known as the positive half of the cycle, is when we are at our physical best. Our energy levels surge, our strength increases, and our coordination is at its peak. It's as if we've slipped into a superhero suit, ready to conquer the world. Now imagine the wave dipping after reaching its peak. That's the second half of the cycle, the negative half. Starting from day 12, our physical prowess starts to ebb. By the 23rd day, we're back at the bottom, ready to start a new cycle. During this phase, we might feel physically drained. Our energy levels drop, our strength diminishes, and our coordination might be a little off. But don't worry, it's not a sudden plunge from superhero to mere mortal. The transition is gradual, just like the waves dip. One day, you might be lifting heavy weights at the gym, and the next, you find a bag of groceries surprisingly heavy. This cycle can also influence our susceptibility to illness or injury. During the high point of the cycle, our bodies might be more resilient, able to ward off illnesses. On the flip side, during the low points, we might be more prone to catching a cold or twisting an ankle. It's fascinating, isn't it? Our bodies are not static entities, but dynamic systems constantly influenced by these rhythmic cycles. So the next time you feel physically drained or unusually energetic, you might just be experiencing the ebbs and flows of your physical cycle. Moving on to the emotional cycle, a 28-day journey of emotional highs and lows. This intriguing cycle is akin to a roller coaster ride of feelings, impacting our moods, creativity, and sensitivity. The emotional cycle is a rich tapestry of human experience, encompassing everything from joy to sorrow, from frustration to contentment. It's a journey that we all embark on, whether we are conscious of it or not. And just like a roller coaster, there are times when we feel on top of the world, and other times when we feel like we're at rock bottom. Our emotions don't exist in a vacuum. They're not just random occurrences that pop up without rhyme or reason. Instead, they're a part of this complex 28-day cycle that ebbs and flows, influencing our interactions with others and our perception of the world around us. When we're at the peak of our emotional cycle, we're more likely to experience positive emotions. We might feel more creative, more empathetic, and more in tune with our surroundings. Our interactions with others can be more harmonious and we might find ourselves being more understanding and patient. However, when we're at the bottom of our emotional cycle, we might find ourselves feeling more negative emotions. We could feel more sensitive, irritable, or even depressed. Our interactions with others might be more strained and we might struggle to see the positive in situations. Understanding this cycle can be a powerful tool. It can help us navigate our emotions more effectively and can give us a deeper understanding of why we feel the way we do at certain times. It can also help us be more patient with ourselves and others, recognizing that our emotions are not just random, but part of a larger cycle. But bear in mind, this cycle is not a strict rule. It's more of a guide, a tool to help us understand ourselves better. Our emotions are complex and can be influenced by a myriad of factors. But by understanding the emotional cycle, we can gain valuable insights into our emotional world. Remember, it's not just one of those days. It could be your emotional cycle at play. Finally, the intellectual cycle, a 33-day period of mental peaks and troughs. This intriguing cycle is believed to be the rhythm of our mind, 
regulating our cognitive abilities, our decision-making prowess, our memory retention, and our overall mental alertness. Let's delve a little deeper. Imagine a wave flowing smoothly with crests and troughs. The intellectual cycle is very much like this wave, oscillating over a span of 33 days. It is said to govern our logical and analytical abilities, our power of perception, and our ability to learn and remember. At the crest of this wave, the high point in the cycle, we're likely to experience mental sharpness. Our minds are nimble, our thought processes are clear, and our decision-making abilities are at their peak. This is a time when we're more likely to absorb new information, to find innovative solutions, and to excel in mentally demanding tasks. On the flip side, when the cycle dips into a trough, the low point, we might feel a little foggy. Our minds may seem sluggish, and we might struggle with complex problems. It's a time when our memory might not be as reliable, our alertness could wane, and our decisions may not be as sound as they usually are. It's crucial to note, though, that these are not rigid rules. The intellectual cycle is not a predictor of success or failure, but rather a guide to understanding our mental rhythm. It's a tool to help us recognize when we might be at our mental best and when we may need to cut ourselves some slack. But what happens when our intellectual cycle intersects with the physical and emotional cycles? How do these cycles influence each other? Well, that's a story for another time. So those days when you're feeling mentally sharp or perhaps a bit foggy, it could be your intellectual cycle showing its influence. Remember, understanding your biorhythm can be a powerful tool in navigating life's ups and downs. So we have explored the fascinating world of biorhythm theory. We've journeyed through the complex yet intriguing cycles of the human body, the physical, emotional, and intellectual. These cycles, each with their distinct patterns and durations, are thought to greatly influence our lives, shaping our health, mood, and cognitive abilities. The physical cycle, with its 23-day rhythm, governs our strength, endurance, and overall vitality. Understanding this cycle can help us optimize our physical activities, finding the best times for exertion and rest. It can also guide us in managing our health, allowing us to anticipate periods of susceptibility to illness or injury. Then we have the emotional cycle, a 28-day rhythm that influences our feelings, creativity and sociability. By comprehending our emotional biorhythm, we can better navigate our relationships and emotional well-being. It can give us insights into our mood swings, helping us to manage our feelings and reactions more effectively. And let's not forget the intellectual cycle. Spanning 33 days, this cycle is believed to regulate our thinking, memory and mental agility. Recognizing the patterns of our intellectual biorhythm can help us plan our cognitive tasks, allowing us to harness our peak mental capabilities when we need them most. Understanding our unique biorhythms is like having a roadmap to our well-being. By tuning into these cycles, we can anticipate and prepare for our ups and downs, helping us live more harmoniously with our bodies and minds. It's a powerful tool that can help us navigate our daily lives more effectively, promoting a healthier, happier existence.